Hey guys, welcome back to another Mod Bros video. In this video, I'm going to be going over my modified Mega Cyclone shot. Now, there are a lot of modified Mega Cyclone shots, but this one I wanted to take a little differently, and it's also a little bit of an experiment that didn't really work out sadly, but that happened. So basically, it's your standard AR removal, spring upgrade, and rebarreling for elite darts. But what I've also done is I've added an extension barrel to the front that is more CBDC that then seals to the front of the cycle shock turret. Now, my reasoning behind this is because I've seen several cycle shock hand cannons that have had the extended turrets, but I didn't want to have to individually extend all six barrels. I was trying to figure out if I could just extend one and have it seal properly and then in order to get it working. Uh, in all the extended barrel cycling shots I've seen, they usually hit around 150 to 180 FPS, which is pretty nice out of a pistol and whatnot. That sounds really nice. But that's with six long barrels, it's quite heavy. I wanted to do something a little different also because I didn't want to have to make six scar barrels and attach those to the end of the barrels in the cylinder. I just wanted to make one and try and work that out. But the issue is I have foam sealing the front barrel to the front of the cylinder. I have foam sealing on the back of the cylinder to the plunger tube, and then I have Teflon tape under the O-ring on the plunger head to hopefully give me 100% air seal. I have 100% air seal in the plunger tube, I've been able to test that, but uh, there's not really an air seal in the turret. I lose air somewhere, so that's why I'm not really getting very good performance. Uh, I assume if I take out my extension barrel, then I'll actually probably get decent performance. I could actually should probably use this for day play and just load in from the front, which would work nicely. I originally was going to have rear loading holes on the side for this, and this was going to be like an 8 inch barrel with a scar on the end, but from my testing it just really didn't work. Uh, but yeah guys, the reason I didn't want to do these 6 extended barrels is because in my opinion there's only been like one proper build of it where it looked good. All the other ones kind of look a little bit too jank for my standards and i also just don't like the idea of having those six six extended barrels and then which would all be like six scars in rb as accurate as i would like and i'm still not getting the plunder tube to cylinder seal so even if i had the six extended barrels i'd probably still be having a leak there and i still wouldn't be getting very good performance but i'm gonna fire this thing over the choreograph for you guys just so you can see how much it's hitting right now and uh there may be a part two to this if I get, if I have an idea of how I can fix it, but it may just rest as it is right now and be a day play blaster, I guess. So once again, firing full length FBJs through the Nerf Chrono Barrel. 86. Another issue that happens is when the cylinder doesn't rotate properly, it actually won't line up the dart with the extension barrel and then it won't fire. So there's a problem. 78. So yeah, there's a problem. That one can be rotated perfectly. 76. Every time I check. Every time that I check if it's rotated properly, uh, it does. And every time that I don't, it doesn't rotate properly. This is another reason why I personally don't like uh, cylinder or turret blasters. They work well in paper, but I just don't prefer them. And then 75. So yeah. As you guys can see, it's hitting less than my quick 16 from our last video with the same darts and my quick 16 will hold more uh quick 16 actually has a scar attached to it as well so it's slowing down the fps on that uh quick 16 is easier to reload because instead of having to load through different barrels i can just pop darts into the top quick 16 pump action a little depressed on this, a little bit of sad that it didn't work out how I wanted it, but it was a nice experiment to see if I could do that for future builds and whatnot. But that's me for this video, guys. I hope you liked it, and I hope you guys learned something from it, and I uh, hope you learned from my mistakes. <laughs>
that don't do this if you want a second shot that's powerful and whatnot just extend the barrels i guess but try and make it look pretty while you do it uh but yeah make sure you guys like comment and subscribe and we'll check you out in the next video all right peace we got what if we use caulk to seal We could glue it all together, and it would seal really well for that one barrel, and it, <laughs> Just wouldn't, single, single and it wouldn't rotate.